Hello everyone, welcome back to another Watch Me Work on my channel. Today I'm back with my awesome mom here and we did a fill on her and we did these really pretty purple floral nails. These are perfect for springtime. All of the flowers are hand painted. I'm gonna show you guys how I did that and I'm gonna go through the fill from start to finish. If you're new here, my name is Katie, I'm a nail tech and I enjoy making videos for you guys, doing tutorials and in this case, this is a watch me work so this is how I do someone's nails in the salon like real life nail clients so let's go ahead and get started so this is what we're starting with this is her previous set they're about a month grown out and these are embedded nails so this is chunky glitter that's been embedded underneath of the gel and I do have a video on this set as well so if you're interested in seeing how I did those make sure to check that video out. So the first thing we need to do is remove the old design so all of this old glitter and because it's embedded it's a little bit thicker so I decided to use the Erica's ATA carbide bit so this bit is a little bit more I don't want to say aggressive because that sounds bad, but it is going to cut through that product a little bit quicker than just your standard carbide bit, which is really nice because when we have a lot of gel and this chunky glitter to go through, we need something that's going to be a little bit more efficient for us to get that old product off and file through that really chunky glitter. So when you're using a bit like this, you want to make sure and have it on a higher speed if you use it on a lower speed, it might kind of get stuck. It's not going to file through that gel quite as well. So you want to make sure it's on a higher speed and about 20, 25,000 RPMs. And I'm just going to file down all that glitter. She does have a layer of gel underneath of that glitter. It's really thin. So I'm going to be careful once I have filed through that glitter not to file onto her natural nail but uh, there is a layer of hard gel underneath of gl that glitter that serves as a little bit of a protection so that way I don't hurt the natural nail. Just a reminder I do have a 10% off code for the bits that I'm using from Erica's ATA. The code is AMB10 and I will make sure and put that on the screen here and also down in the description box. So I'm going to go through and file off all this old glitter on all 10 nails and then we are going to start the prep. So now that we've got all of that old design, all that old glitter off, now I'm just going in and gently pushing back her cuticles with a cuticle pusher. I know it looks a little bit more aggressive. I feel like it always looks more aggressive than I actually am doing it. So remember to be gentle um, when pushing back the cuticles because they can be sensitive sometimes. So now I'm going to be using another bit from Erica's ATA. This is their Russian nib, which is a diamond cuticle bit. And I absolutely love this bit. This is one of my all time favorites for prepping the nail. So for this bit, I am using it at about 10 to 15,000 RPMs and I am using very, very light pressure. You don't need very much pressure. You want to make sure this bit is doing the work for you. If you are pushing or feel like you need to push down in order for it to work, then you probably need to turn it up a little bit higher because you can definitely do damage even though these diamond bits don't have teeth, so they aren't actually cutting. They're more like a really fine sandpaper. You can still do damage with them if you're using too much pressure or have them at a incorrect angle. So you want to make sure and keep them nice and flat and flush to the nail and then also and also very little to no pressure when using these bits. So first when I'm using these I start in the forward direction and go from right to left and then I switch it in the reverse direction and go from left to right and this way it pushes that skin around the nail back around the entire nail versus just on one side and I love this bit because it kind of does three things in one for me. So one, it pushes that back that cuticle even farther. Two, it removes any dead tissue or any non-living tissue off of the skin. And three, it also preps the nail plate for our new product. So I don't really have to do a lot after this. It does a lot of the work for me. And I love the size of this bit because I can get down into those sidewalls really, really easily. It's not too big. 
So for the next step for my prep process, I am now trimming back any of that non-living tissue, non-living skin around the nail. You want to be really careful when using nippers. You can easily cut somebody if you go too far with it. I just make sure and trim off anything that is kind of like that white color, it's not living, or anything like a hangnail, things that are like kind of really hanging off the nail, that's what I trim off. So I know people, some people out there trim even more than that. I don't feel comfortable with that, so I just kind of do what I feel comfortable with, which is anything that is really hanging off the nail and it's very clearly non-living tissue and I just nip it off. For the nippers, I'm using the Erica's Boss Lady nippers. These are my hands down favorite nippers. I love just the quality of them. They just feel really nice and sturdy and they are really sharp and you don't have to worry about them going dull that quick. So it's really nice. Again, don't forget, I have that 10% off coupon if for any of these bits or these nippers as well. And how I nip the dead non-living tissue is I use that top blade and you kind of push it up behind it and that non-living, that white tissue will kind of pop out and then that is how I nip it off with the lower blade. And then sometimes I will come back again afterwards with my Russian nib bit again. And it kind of, sometimes after you nip that non-living tissue, it will it will kind of reveal a little bit more of that tissue that's stuck to the nail plate. So sometimes I'll just quickly go back again with my bit just to kind of clean it up even more so that there's nothing on that nail plate that could cause lifting and that skin is really nice and pushed back and you're going to get a really nice cuticle area. So here are her nails now. I did shorten them a little bit, but they are all prepped and ready for our product. So first I'm going to cleanse the nails and I use 99% alcohol for this, making sure they are really nice and clean of dust and any oils or dirt, debris, anything like that. Another reason why I like wearing gloves is because if I touch her nails with my own finger, I'm going to transfer some of my natural oils onto her nails, which can also cause lifting. So I love wearing the gloves. It protects my hands from any product, you know, getting gel on them and stuff and keeps my nails really nice. And then also it just, I feel like it's more sanitary that way and it keeps me from transferring my own oils from my skin onto her nails. So for the primer I'm using, I'm using the Luminary Commit Primer which is just a sticky primer and then for the gel I'm going to use the Accents Trinity Gel. This is in the color SW1 and I'm using it on the nails that I am going to paint the florals on. So this is going to be kind of a background just a natural color for behind those florals. Now this gel does not need a bonding gel. It already has a bonder built in. So that's why I'm going straight over the top of the primer with the gel. No need for a bonder. But if the gel you use does require a bonder, then obviously you would use that first before applying your gel. So I'm going to do a coat of these on the two nails that I'm going to paint my florals on. And I like to do a flash cure in between each nail just because this gel is a little bit on the runnier side. And I want to make sure it doesn't run into the cuticle area or her skin once I move on to the next nail. So I will flash cure each nail just for a couple seconds and then I will move on to the next nail. And I will do that for every nail. And then once I've finished the last nail on the hand, I will just have her go into the light for the full cure. For the other nails, I'm going to use my Trinity Clear Gel and same thing with this one. It does not need a bonder. It has a bonder built in. So I'm just going straight over that primer and again doing one nail at a time and flash curing in between each nail. So once the gel has been fully cured, I'm going to cleanse them, cleanse that tacky layer off, and then I'm going to file them and smooth them out, shape them a little bit. Sometimes I will skip this step on my mom just because we keep her nails so short that sometimes I just do a thin layer and that's all I really need and I don't really need to worry about any bumps or anything because it's such a thin layer. However, I feel like I was being extra particular this day and I decided just to give them a quick little buff so that I could make sure and smooth out any little lumps or bumps that I saw 
in her nails. And I'm using my file and using the 180 side, which is the softer side, and just going over them really quick just to give them a nice smooth finish. So for the colors I used for this set, I am going to be use, using the Accents Majestic Violet, which is from their Options line. And their Options line is a potted soak off gel. So these gels are not a hard gel, they are soak off, but they are in a pot. And then I'm also going with the Light Elegance Buttercream in Butter Me Up, which is a really pretty like soft lavender color. And the Majestic Violet is so pretty. I absolutely love this color. And you can honestly get away with one coat sometimes. It's so bright of a purple, but really like a straight up violet. Like I absolutely love this color. So I am painting this color on all of the nails that I did a clear gel on. So the pinky, the middle finger, and then the thumb. So I'm gonna do a coat of this on all of those nails. Now for the florals, I am starting with that Butter Me Up buttercream. I absolutely love the buttercream gels for doing nail art. They work so nicely and you can paint them really thin and they have such great coverage. Like I love the buttercreams for nail art. So I'm using the Butter Me Up buttercream and for the brush, I'm using my Magpie Detailer brush and I'm just painting on that large flower. And for the flower, I want to paint it on in a way that looks like I'm looking at it from the side. So I'm not looking at this flower from straight on. So that's why the petals that, that I first painted are almost like in a heart shape because you would see those from the side. And then I'm going to start painting on the petals that you would see on the other side of the flower, if that makes sense. Sometimes it helps if you can look at a picture. I love looking at Pinterest photos that are not of nails but like patterns so you can look up like floral patterns on pinterest and they come up with so many different really pretty patterns and different florals and it's really nice to look at for some reference of different flowers so i'm just going in and painting each one of those petals and then i'm going to cure this once i'm happy with it now I'm starting on the other nail and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just putting the flower in a different spot on the nail, but the same concept of how I paint it. Sometimes I feel like it's a little bit easier for you guys to just watch me paint something versus de try and describe every little thing that I'm doing. So I might just let you guys watch some of this versus trying to tell you exactly how I'm painting something because it's it just seems a little bit easier if you can just visually see it versus me trying to put it into words. So now I'm using the Accents Majestic Violet that I used on the other nails and I'm just going to paint some little smaller flowers, just a couple little petals and I'm going to do that on both of the nails as well. And also the other hand has the exact same thing. So whatever I'm doing on this hand, I'm also doing it on the other hand. For the green, I'm using my Magpie gel paints and I'm using their green gel paint as well as a little bit of the black gel paint plus. So their gel paint plus is a little bit of a thicker gel paint, which is how I prefer my gel paints. I like them a little bit thicker so that I can draw like a little bit of crisper lines and stuff with it. And so I'm just adding a little bit of that gel paint plus the black into their gel paint green so it will thicken up that green just a little bit as well as make it darker and this is what i'm going to use to paint the leaves and like the little stems for the flowers
Now I've switched to my Accents Golden Nugget gel paint and I'm going to use this for the center of the large flowers. I'm also going to paint some flowers with this one as well, which you'll see like some longer, thinner flowers. I love this gel paint. I love this gold. It's so pretty and it just pops. For some final touches on this design, I'm using my same detailer brush and some white gel paint and I'm just going around and adding some little white dots in between the flowers and in between the leaves. Lastly, I'm top coating all of the nails and I'm using my favorite Light Elegance Super Shiny. I know some of you guys said in my comments previously that you've tried the Super Shiny but you weren't in love with it. And my one suggestion is after it's cured, give it about 30 to 60 seconds before you cleanse the sticky layer. And then once you do that, sometimes it doesn't look as shiny, but what you need to do is just add your oil to the nail, a little bit of cuticle oil, then take a dry wipe and rub that nail, like rub the oil into that nail and kind of buff that nail with a dry wipe and the shine will come through. So if you have tried that top coat and you don't like it or you're struggling, that'd be my biggest tip is sometimes it doesn't look shiny right off the bat, but you just need to take a dry wipe and just rub a little bit of oil into it and it the shine comes through. And I absolutely love it. It doesn't stain, so I can use it on hairdressers. It's one of my all-time favorite top coats. So I make sure and top coat all the nails and I do two top coats over the floral nails because sometimes gel nail art can look a little bumpy. So I do two top coats and it smooths those nails out really well. So this is the finished result. I absolutely love them. I think they're so pretty and I love the purple. Purple is my favorite color. So I am loving these like lavender and violet nails so let me know what you guys think do you guys like to do floral nails are you ready for spring nails or are you still loving more like winter designs make sure to subscribe don't forget to like comment and share and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching